to this special multiplayer DVD version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to try your luck in that famous hot seat and compete against your family or friends to be the first to reach the magical million pound mark and the chance, of course, to win a family holiday to Universal Mediterranea. Now, all you need is your DVD remote control. You can move around the screen and make your choices by using the up, down, left, right and enter buttons. It really couldn't be simpler. Right, if you're ready, let's play. Right, here we go. Let's go over the rules, although I'm sure you're familiar with them all by now. You are 15 correct answers away from winning a virtual million pounds. Now, as always, you can walk away at any time. And if you do get stuck, then you have the usual three lifelines. There's 50-50. You can phone a friend, or of course you can ask the audience. OK, if you're ready, all you need to do now is select the number of players, and we can play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, you fancy another go at winning the million? OK, best of luck. Let's play. OK, for 100 quid, here's question number one. That's great, it's the right answer. Have a look at question number two. It's worth 200 quid. That's the right answer. Here's question number three. It's worth £300. That's great. It's the right answer. Remember, a wrong answer here and you will leave with nothing. I'm sure that won't happen. Question number four. Do any of the answers stand out at all? No problems there. That's the right answer. Now, get the next question correct and you'll leave with at least a thousand pounds. Good luck. Here comes question number five. Absolutely spot on. Well done. You've reached the first milestone, that's £1,000. Now, have a look at question six, because it could double your money to 2000 Complete the Bruce Forsyth catchphrase, nice to see you, see you nice, come on down, give us a twirl, stupid boy. Now, are you happy for it to go orange? It's worth £2,000. Excellent. Right answer. Here comes question number seven out of a possible 15. It's worth £4,000. Good luck. At which sport did Hugh Laurie excel whilst at Cambridge University? Rugby union, cricket, rowing, Squash. That's absolutely correct. Well played. OK, if you choose the right answer to the next question, you can double your money to £8,000. Let's have a look at question 8 of 15. Which British city is nicknamed the Granite City? Dundee. Sunderland, Aberdeen, Newcastle upon Tyne. Yes, that's the right answer. Right, the jumps are starting to get a lot bigger now. Here is question nine for a possible £16,000. Which of the following was the space probe Giotto specifically built to study? Saturn's rings, Moon's surface, Mars' atmosphere, Halley's comet. Yes, you're absolutely correct. Well played. 
Okay, this is where the drops start to get steeper. Get the next question wrong and you lose £15,000. But get it right and you win 32000 guaranteed. What name is given to the Spanish Mediterranean coast between Barcelona and Valencia? Costa Brava, Costa Blanca, Costa Dorada, Costa del Sol. Right, computer, we need a bit of help here. Take two of the answers away and hopefully make things a bit easier. Okay, you've decided to use your phone a friend lifeline. Choose the friend you'd like to call, but remember, you do not have to go along with their answer. I'm not totally certain. Perhaps D. It would be a guess, I'm afraid. I may very well be out of my depth here. Good luck. Congratulations, that's the right answer. Right, question number 11 is worth £64,000. You would still walk away with 32000 even if you got it wrong. But let's hope you don't. Anne Elliot is the heroine of which Jane Austen novel? Mansfield Park, Northanger Abbey, Persuasion or Pride and Prejudice? Just relax, only play if you're sure that's what you want. Right, you've decided to ask the audience. Now, let's hope they can help. Audience, on your keypads, please. All vote now. Absolutely correct. Well played. Right, the next question is worth a whopping £125,000. It's number 12 of a possible 15. Take your time, it's a lot of money. On which island did Stella McCartney get married in August 2003? Sky. Islay, Mull, or Butte? Absolutely spot on, well done. Right, now just take your time and relax. The next question is number 13 of a possible 15. If you answer and you're wrong, you drop back to £32,000. Here's the question for a quarter of a million. Which QC played by Paul Whitehouse in The Far Show is always very, very drunk? Ronald Tompkin, Roland Simpkin, Roly Birkin, Rollo Firkin. It's the right answer. This is now getting very, very serious. You are just two correct answers away from winning one million pounds. But if you give me a wrong answer here, you will lose 218,000 pounds. Not good. Have a look at question number 14 but think very carefully about what you want to do. 
Who was announced as the new face of Diet Coke in September 2003? Jordan, Caprice, Elle McPherson, or Christy Brinkley? That's correct, well done. Fantastic, you have played a brilliant game so far, and now you have 500,000 pounds. But we would really like to give you one million. Take as long as you need. Here comes the million pound question. What typically British item was given to Brad Pitt in June 2003? Bowler hat, blue Peter badge, Cricket ball or Rolls Royce car? Well, you could have walked away with half a million pounds. But instead, you'll be walking away with one million pounds. That's the right answer. Fantastic. What a tremendous game. All 15 questions answered correctly. Well done. You are a virtual millionaire. Congratulations. Now, for a chance of jetting off for a fabulous holiday to Universal Mediterranean, all you have to do is write this special win code on the postcard provided and send it to us in the post. It couldn't be easier. Good luck. Well done and thank you for playing. Who wants to be a millionaire?